Hello, friends. Now let's solve the remove duplicate letters problem. Given a string which contains only lowercase letters, remove duplicate letters so that each letter appears once and only once. You must make sure your result is the smallest in lexicographical order among all possible results. Let's see these two examples. The first example: if the input is B C A B C. Then we will return A B C, because as we can see, there are only three different letters, which is B C A, and uh, we need to uh, return a uh, smallest in lexicographical order. If we put uh, this B in the result string, and uh, then we put this C. And we put a. We will find that uh, there is uh, there are there are B and C after this B. Uh, after this A, so we can put this A uh, at first, and then put this B, and then put this C. So we uh, because A is the first letter in the dictionary. So A B C is the smallest lexicographical um, order. Uh, actually, this question has something uh, you need to understand that uh, if we are given two word, one is A Z Z Z, and um, the other is B A A A. Which one is in the smaller lexicographic order, it should be a z z z because we just compare the first different characters. That is a because all the words in dictionary start from a uh, is smaller than all the words that start from b. So that's uh, that's the something you need to understand. So for this. Example: We know that、uh, there is C, B, A, D, four, uh, four different letters, and、uh, we can choose A because there are another C and B after this A, so we can choose them after A. We can pick A at first, and then we pick this C, and then we pick this D. Finally, we pick this B. So that's the reason. Uh, A C D B is in the smaller lexicographical order than A D C B. A D C B because C and D, uh, C comes first than the D. So this one will be the smallest in lexicographical order among all possible results. So let's see the intuition. Firstly, we need to mark the position of the each letter, because if we want to pick this A, we need to we have know that、uh, we have to know that there are another C and B after this A, so we will not put C B before A because we can pick C and B afterwards. So we need to mark the position of each letter, and another thing is that we need to use. Every letter, uh, once and only once. So this part is easier. We we can use a boolean array to mark that, and we also need to compare the order of different characters. So we can try to generate the result string builder, and、uh, for every current child, we need to compare that with the end of the result string builder. Because we need to let the lexicographical smaller letter appear earlier, so our solution is that、uh, we will use a count array to count the appearance of each letter. So in this example, B, um, B will be two, and C will be two, and A will be one. And we,、we'll, as I said, we will use a boolean array to mark whether we have used that letter before. And、uh, 
we will iterate from this string and try to append that character into our result string. And if the current char is um is smaller than the end, uh, well, it sh it should be smaller. If it's smaller than the letter in the end of the readout string, uh, which means we need to try to append the character char before that is the end of the result string. So we need uh, to check whether there is another uh, letter before the current letter. If there is, we can delete the end of the result string and append the current string. So uh, for our algorithm, let's see how we get this result. First, let's see the string builder. First, uh, this B will be appended in our string builder. And then we append C because BC um, is increasing order. And when we try to append A, we will find A is smaller than C. So we need to check whether there is another C after this A. There is, because we can get that information from the count of C. Count of C is greater than zero. That means there is another C after this A. So we can delete C. Then we compare B and A. A is smaller than B. And there is another B after A, so we can delete this B. So the current string builder will be just A, and then we append B and C, so we get A, B, C. Let's see the second example. We first append C, and when we try to append this B, we will find that B is smaller than C, and there is another C after B, so we delete C and append B. And then we try to append A. We find that A is smaller than B. And there is also another B after A. So we will delete B. And now the string builder will just be A. And we try to append C. OK, C is larger than A. So we just append the C. And we try to append D. OK, D is greater than C. And we try to append C. No, because we have already used C. And we try to append B. B is smaller than D, but there are no another D after B, so we just append B. And we try to append C. We already use C, so the result just be A, C, D, B. So our algorithm is correct. So let's now let's write the code. We need a string builder, SB. That will be our result string builder. And we will use int array. That will be count. So the size should just be 26 because there is only lowercase letters. And we also need the Boolean used array. The size also be the 26. And we first, uh, okay, we can get the charts that will be S2 char array. Okay, then we first iterate these characters array. We get the count C minus A because we convert that character to int plus plus. Then we will iterate this chart again to generate our result string builder. So we will let the count C minus A minus minus because then the count C minus A can let us know whether there is another character after this character. So uh, that means when we get this b, right, we let the count b uh, decrement by 1. So when we get this c, we know that uh, count b is greater than 0. That means there is another b after this c. So that's the reason. If we have used c minus a, we just continue. If we haven't used it, while the s dot length greater than zero, and um, c is smaller than s b char at uh, s b the very last character char is smaller than it, and uh, we should make sure the count of the s b char at uh, s b dot length minus one. Okay. 
uh, is greater than zero. This means there is another uh, that character after the C. We will let it use the sp dot length minus one. Uh, there should be sp char at. Okay, there will be sp dot length minus one mm, minus eight equal to false because we delete that. So sp delete char at sp dot length minus one. And then we just append that C to our result. Final return SB2 string. Um, do not forget to mark the this C to true, which means we have append that, have used that letter. Okay, I made a mistake. That should be Boolean. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.